hey, hello. So I felt like doing, I felt like ma being a flower. Today I'm gonna be a flower uh, because a lot of you guys have been encouraging me to do more creative stuff and I appreciate that. So I sat down and I was like, I'm gonna be a flower. So obviously, you know, I've been into the flower backgrounds recently. Uh, I got some flower nail stickers. This is by a brand called Manny Me, which kind of loving, you know what I mean? Um, I also popped in some colored contacts, which like you can't even really tell, so I don't know why I did it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using these images by um, the, um, I think it's Unlikely Florist on Instagram as kind of my inspo. I ended up only using like one image as my reference just because like it was pretty time consuming and I, I just didn't really have time to like add any more flowers. Um, so I already did like kind of a base, you know, just like very clean makeup and I just figured I wanted like a lightweight base to start from. So I'm gonna be using a lot of ColourPop liners in this video. So I'm starting off with the cream gel liner. I can't remember what color this is, but it's obviously like the pale yellow one, just to kind of like sketch out the shape. And I'm using the center of my eye, obviously, as like the center of the flower. And these liners honestly are like, they're, just, they're so easy to use. Like they're a cream gel, so they're like very lightweight. Uh, they can break, so like don't, you know, roll them up a little too much, which is what I do a lot of the time. So then I'm gonna use Halsey's brand. This is, uh, what the fuck's, what's it called? About Face. I'm using the, the white thing, whatever, I showed it to you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I started, I was like, maybe I'll lay out like the highlights first, but then I was like, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna literally like color in each of the little petals. Um, oh, my computer's being loud now, so you can, might be able to hear that. Whatever, background noises, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going in and just kind of like, going a little bit heavier in the areas where the flower is light and but pretty much just like coloring <laughs> everything in you know like I need some kind of a a base for the flower once again going in with a white cream gel liner in my waterline and then I don't remember what BH palette this is the Los Angeles palette I think so I'm using that white color to just kind of like set the Jesus my computer is being so loud uh just to set the white yeah voiceovers are weird anyway I'm setting the white like stuff <laughs> with a with a uh, whatever so then I'm gonna grab the yellow from I think this is the radioactive palette from okay I gotta back up because my computer is gonna explode um melt melt cosmetics radioactive palette so I'm going in and just kind of like laying out the yellows obviously like that's how you do it um it's kind of like painting anything you're you, you're starting off with the mid-tones you know what I mean so before going in with like super duper highlights and dark colors. Uh, it's like, it's literally like makeup, it's like foundation. Like you start off with your foundation and then you go in and you do your contouring and your highlighting. Sometimes people do highlighting before contouring, whatever, it's your preference. But like you're starting off with your mid-tone before you go in with those accents, right? So I laid out the white as just kind of like the base color, I guess. But now I'm going in with those mid-tones and starting to like build those up and really like, I don't know, do some shading you know what I mean? Like starting off with the, like the base of the whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm mixing some colors. Obviously I went in with this like corally peach color. I'm using basically all BH Cosmetics palettes with the exception of the Melt one. Um, and it's nice to have like very detail brushes, like small brushes that you can blend with. Uh, not that anybody's gonna be recreating this, I don't know. Oh, I so I picked up the Linda Hallberg's, um, what the fuck is it called? Spectrum. I think it's a Spectrum palette or something. Anyway, so I, I used uh, a couple colors from that palette. These kinds of things are weird because I'm like, do you really need me to be like explaining every little thing that I'm doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're literally just watching me paint and um, I'm obviously like fast forwarding a bit because I think this took me about two hours maybe for just the flower and like the little finishing touches. So, you know, it's a little time consuming. Uh, so now I'm going in with, once again, more ColourPop liners. These are the uh, the liquid liners, but the colored liquid liners. And I think I'm starting off, is this yellow one? I'm like literally trying to be far away from my computer because it's being so loud. But uh, yeah, so I'm starting off with the yellow one. And now I'm going into my my liquid liners and I'm starting off with my mid-tones once again. So I'm going in with the yellow and kind of like building that up and creating a little bit more definition. Just kind of like outlining and stuff like that, you know? And then I'm going in with the pink. Oh, sorry, this is pink from the, that, that brand ZC. Uh, so I'm going in with their colorful liner. I can't remember what it's called, but just to kind of like, once again, go in and like create a little bit more definition, outlining and stuff. Um, yeah. 
What do I talk about when we're just like chilling? You know what I mean? Dude, those nail stickers are so cute. I was like targeted on, it was like Instagram or maybe a Facebook ad and I saw it and like, they're actually really interesting. I'm, I'm wearing them right now and I'm like testing them. So I don't know, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so now I'm going with the white one from ColourPop, which is fantastic. It did start to kind of like dry out after a little while because I'm obviously like drawing over a lot of eyeshadow and I have it open a lot. So um, I love them. They do last really well, like compared to, I used to use the Urban Decay one, Ra Ra Razor? Was it Razor? Razor Bump? Wait, it was Bump the shade? I can't remember. Uh, anyway, so now I'm going in with my highlights. I'm going to be going back in with like, you know, some details and shadows and stuff like that, but you, I don't know, whatever. If you're like, if you happen to be an artist, if you paint, if you draw, then I don't know, whatever. Maybe this makes sense to you. How many times can I say, I don't know, whatever? You guys tell me that I'm a great YouTuber and I'm like, I'm the worst YouTuber. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sitting back here and watching it, man. I got my coffee. I'm chilling. Uh, but yeah, I really did appreciate like all of the people who were like, you should do more creative looks, like do what you want to do because I expressed, I can't remember, I mean, it might've been on my second channel. If you guys don't know, I have a second uh, YouTube channel called Alex Talks, A-L-X, wow, I forgot how to spell it, A-L-X-T-A-L-X, -A -L -X, where I just like talk about random shit and I haven't really been <laughs> uploading a lot of videos because I've been like in such a creative rut and I kind of just want to be alone. I just want to be left alone. Anyway, um, so this is, I think, the brown liquid liner from, I want to say that that's from Benefit, but it could be from, uh, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going in and, like, you know, intensifying some of the, like, definition around the edges of the, of the petals, uh, kind of going back and forth between that and the white. I, I love layering. I think it just, like, gives things such a 3D look. I think when it comes to art, I can be a little bit messy, but I don't know. I just, whatever, it's it's all part of the process. And now I'm going in with um, a shade from the Clio Contour Palette, like one of the bronzy shades, and just doing a little bit of um, shading like around the flowers just to make them look like they're coming off my face a little bit. And then I was like, what am I gonna do with the other side of my face? So I decided to just go in with one shadow, the yellow from the Radioactive Palette, all over my eyes, lid and um, lower lash line. Uh, just to kind of like, I don't know, I was wearing a yellow top, not, not that you can really see it, but I wanted to kind of tie that in. Like a sun, I'm a sunflower. Uh, and also playing with primary colors. Primary colors? Yeah, anyway. Uh, so I'm doing my brows. Oh, I didn't really know what to do with this brow because I didn't like put it down with glue. You know how people do that? I never do that. Uh, so I just like set it with some soap and then I went in with a little bit of the KK, no, sorry, uh, KVD like colorful brow liner things. I think I used the cream color and I was like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, and then I'm kind of just doing my, like my right brow, the one on your left with, uh, you know, just basic, like whatever. Once again, back and forth. This is why I can't, this is why I literally can't talk during these kinds of videos. Cause there's so much back and forth that this video would end up being like three hours long. You know what I mean? Yellow, that first yellow that we started off with little curl. And then I'm going in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. I debated using um, falsies, but I really kind of like how simple it is. And then I'm going with my Lisa Eldridge Red, I think it's the Ribbon Lip Liner to start off. And then for lipstick, I'm using the, um, it's the red from the e.l.f. Jen Atkin collab, which I really like, but the one thing about it is, I don't know if you can tell from this, it's very matte and it kind of pulls on your lips. So if you have very dry lips, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it does wear really well and it's pretty lightweight. So now I'm using another one of those KV, wait, KVD? Yeah, KVD like cream colors. It's like a deep burgundy plum kind of shade. I don't know, to just intensify a little bit more once again, you know, uh, little details, little details. Just want to make it look as 3D as I possibly can. So. This is kind of like, I took some liberties, like I didn't really use the photo for some of these things where I was just like, mm, I need a little bit more. Um, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, going by what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, so I turned myself into a flower, you guys. What do you think? I had so much fun doing it. It was just like really nice to, I'd been wanting to do a look like this for a while. So um, I hope 
that that was like interesting. I know a lot of you guys want to see me paint. This is obviously like me painting, but on my face. So uh, I'm rusty, but I like the way it turned out and I appreciate you encouraging it. So I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, I don't know. Voiceovers are boring, but like whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>